hi guys welcome back to the channel so we are in continuation of learning uh, tele prime and we are done with the first part if you haven't seen that part i'll attach the link on the top of this video so just click on that finish the first part and then come here to see the second part so if you are already done with the first part let's continue to our today's video Now the next transaction that we have in here is for May 1st and it says she opened an account in the ICIC bank. Now it is not mentioned how she opened the account and what cash does it deposit in the ICIC bank. But since Smith has started the business with cash, obviously out of this 400,000, she has deposited 200,000 in bank. So how will we deal with this? I'll go to telly. And under the gateway of Tele, obviously I have to use the vouchers from here. I'll click on vouchers. And since the same nature of account means cash and bank is almost of same nature, that is sort of liquid cash. So from one account money is transferred to the other similar kind of account. So this is called a contra entry. So I'll go to contra by clicking F4 or you can click directly from mouse here. Now this is the single entry mode. Now we will learn how to enter the double entry mode. If we are not sure what account to mention here, I can click on configure and it is already set use debit credit instead of two by entry. Actually let's cancel this. I'll click on change mode. If I want to use the short key, the short key will be control H and change it to double entry and hit enter. Now let's choose cash. The date is, let's mention May here. Click on date. And the date sequence here is date first, then month, and then year. So date is 1st May 2022. And the transaction is based on cash. So let's select cash. Cash is already selected and it is already credit. Now, since the cash is reduced in value because we have transferred cash in the bank. So cash is credit with 200,000. Now it's showing negative cash. Why is that? Now, sometimes the existing company will open again. That is, was Zen traders before. So basically Tele Prime is set to the settings that whenever I open the software again, it will open up this first company. So let's shut this company. And select the other company. Go to the vouchers again. Now let's select cash. Now let's change the date to May. And since all of these transactions were recorded in 2019, it will automatically pick up 2019. Now, since the cash is reducing in value, we are taking out cash from the account. So it is credit and we are debiting it in the ICIC bank. Now this bank is also not created until now. So we need to create it alternate C. And let's mention ICIC I bank. Now let's link this ledger to the most closely related nature of account. And that is bank accounts is ideal in this case. So just choose the bank accounts, account number, Swift code that depends on the bank. You can enter all of these details later on. So just skip all of these and I can directly press control A. Now the ledger is saved. Overall entry is credit cash and debit ICIC bank. Under the narration, I can just go here, copy the narration from here, from the Excel sheet and paste with pressing control V and press control A to add the transactions. 
So that is how we deal with the contra entries in Tele. Now the next transaction we have on the list is for June 1st and it says purchase goods on credit from Subhan and the amount is 40,000. Now this goods are purchased on credit but the details of goods are not mentioned so I'll just write it as a journal purchase. The amount is 40,000 and this is the supplier invoice number. So let's go to Delhi. Right now I'm in contra entry. I'll go to the purchase area by pressing F9. Supplier invoice number is 2021. So 2021. And date of invoice is June. Now press enter. Now it is not moving forward because this date, the date on which the document is recorded is earlier than the date of invoice. So let's change the date to May for now. Now you can see that it is moving forward. So if you want to enter the June date, you can change the date from here first. So let's write June and now let's change to June here as well. Now it accepts the date. Now under the party name, I can only see cash in ICIC bank. But here I need to create a new creditor or a vendor named Subhan. So to directly create it from here, I'll use the short key that is alternate C and the name is Subhan. Now the nature of the creditors will be sundry creditors. There is a term used especially in tele that is sundry creditors. I know this is an old term. Nowadays, instead of sundry creditors, we use accounts payable name. So if we want to change the name, we can change it later on. I'll show you how to name it as accounts payable as well. So for now, maintain bill by bill balances. Obviously, when we are going to pay, we will see all the bills by invoice numbers and that's how we pay the vendors. And these are some basic settings. I'll keep all the settings as it is. Press Ctrl A. Receipt number and other details, just ignore this and press Ctrl A and Ctrl A again. Now the party name is saved. Now the next requirement is purchase ledger. Remember that whenever it asks for the purchase ledger, first of all, only one time ledger needs to be created. I'll click on create and write here purchases, name the ledger as purchases and the nature will be purchase accounts. Type of ledger invoice rounding or not applicable. I'll select not applicable. Any rounding will not be applicable and press control A. Now here it says purchase goods on credit, but what goods we don't know about that, right? So in that case, it says name of item here. That means I need to mention items if I know any. Otherwise I have to change the type of the voucher. So what I'll do is I'll change the mode. If I change it to right now I'm in item invoice. If I change it to accounting invoice, let's say what is the impact, let's see. So, Subhan is party name. Press control A. Now what key can we mention here? I can mention purchases here. And purchases are 40,000. And this is still in single entry mode. But if I want to change the mode to double entry mode, I can change it to accounting voucher as voucher. So let's see now in the voucher, the treatment is correct or not. It says debit purchases as a general purchase 40,000 because we don't know the specific items that we have, we are purchasing. It only says purchase goods. So 40,000 is debit and Subhan is credit. Perfect. The invoice number is mentioned. So that means that it is better to enter these kind of invoices where we don't know about the inventory details. You can simply click on change mode 
and enter it as voucher so that you can simply enter the invoice in debit and credit form. Now here I will mention the narration. Just copy it from here and paste it right here. And let's confirm one more time if all details are okay. Let's press control A. So that is how we enter the purchase invoice as a voucher in Delhi. Now let's enter the next transaction and it says in July paid to Subhan in full settlement 40,000. The total invoice due was for 40,000 and we have cleared this balance in full. So how will we deal this? Let's see. We are already under the accounting vouchers creation. I'll click on the payment and from the payment, I can change the mode to single entry as well if we want to. Now let's change the date. If you want to change the date, press F2 and I'll write July here. Payment is made from cash. Now it's not mentioned here. So whenever it is not mentioned, we will consider it as the cash payment. So let's select cash here. And particulars will be, we are paying against Subhan balance. So write Subhan. The total current balance is 40,000 and it is paid in full. So I'll write 40,000 here. Now it shows the method of adjustment, how you want to adjust this balance. We have multiple options here, advance against reference, new reference or on account. Let's explain all of these in detail. Advance means if you're receiving any kind of advance from the vendor against any future services. Normally it is applicable when we receive money from customers in advance. Against reference is when we have already entered an invoice and want to settle the payment against that invoice so that it can adjust in records that this is against which we are paying. New references when we are paying some amount and at the same time we want to book a bill number against which we are paying the amount. So we will mention the new reference on account means when the payment amount is not exactly matched to any invoice, but we generally pay vendor every month some amount. Let's say that we have multiple hundreds of invoices, but we pay every month like 10,000 rupees. It is not against any invoice, just a random payment on account. So that means it will reduce our overall account, but it is not specific to any particular invoice. So in this case, since we have already booked an invoice and we are paying against that. So I'll click on against reference. Now here I cannot see any invoice number. Let's see why. So I'll get rid of uh, this all transaction, press escape. I'll go in display more reports and click on day book. Now, here I cannot see any transaction. That's because I need to set the period. Let's set the period to January to July 2019. Control A. Okay. January 2019 to let's say December 2020. So let's see purchase. This was the bill number. And the due date is 1st of June 2019. All okay. Press Ctrl A. Now, if I want to add by staying in Daybook, I want to add a voucher directly. I can either press Add Voucher from here or press Alternate A. Now, let's click on Payment. Let's date is it as 30th June. 30th. June 30th June 2019 or well, let's say 28 2019 now payment is made in cash against Subhan account 40,000 is the settlement let's select against reference now I can see the pending bills let's select this pending bill what I've done is the date of the voucher was 
1st of June 2019. So I just changed the date to 2nd June 2019 on the payment date so that it can show the bill. So 40,000 is settled against this bill. Now let's mention the narration here. Copy and paste. All OK. Let's save now. Press Ctrl A and now it's saved. Now even if I want to edit this, let's say this payment was for July. So what I'll do is just double click on this payment and click on write July here. And let's check all the details. Pending bill was this. All OK. Control A. So now it's set to July. All done. So this is how we pay for the purchase invoice in cash and against the reference feature. Now the next transaction is of 1st of August and it says land purchase of 60,000. So although this is a purchase, but since we don't know about the vendor details, I can use the purchase feature or the payment feature as whatever you like. So let's use the payment feature. Alternate A. I'm under the daybook, so it's better to uh, set the daybook to all dates and use and add directly vouchers from here. So as soon as you enter any voucher, you will come back every time in the daybook. So add voucher. Let's enter the payment. Payment is made on August. So press F2. So August and payment is made in cash. So let's select cash because it's not mentioned here. So I'll consider it as cash. Now we are purchasing land here. So alternate C land and it will be a fixed asset. So select fixed assets and press control A. The amount is 60,000. End of list. Narration, I'll copy it and paste it from here. These are the simple transitions that we are practicing right now so that we can get ourselves prepared for more advanced and difficult transitions in Delhi. So this is just a basic assignment, right? So press control A and that's how we enter the purchase of a property or land by cash. Now the next transaction we have in here is for September and it says goods sold to Savati and the amount is 95,000. So again, it says goods sold, but what goods sold? Uh, there are no separate items mentioned. So we will have a different treatment here. I'll alternate A to add the voucher. I'll go to sales and the party name is Swati. So I'll create a new ledger for it. Alternate C. And this is our data. So sundry debtors will be used. Let's see if I write debtors directly. It will still search for it. So that's good. Maintain bill by bill balances. Yes. And all other settings will remain as it is. So press control A. Now I'll skip all of these details for now and these details as well. So press star pressing enter and enter. Press lots of enters and you will get out of that area. And sales ledger. Similarly, I'll create the sales ledger now. Create and I'll mention it as sales. The nature of the account will be sales account. Not applicable, not applicable and control A. Now this is the item invoice mode in which if we know the item details, I'll mention here, but if we don't know the item details, I can enter it as a general voucher. So I'll change the mode to let's say accounting invoice or let's say as a voucher. So I'll select voucher. So let's get rid of this. 
So Swati is debit as a receivable because we have made a credit sales. So 95,000 will be debit. It will be a new reference. And the reference number will be 2045. So 2045 and press control A. And if we haven't changed the date yet, let's change it to September date. So press F2 and write September here. Sales will be credit no item allocation so hit enter again to get out of that area so swathi as a receivable is debit and sales is credit hit enter here we will mention our narration that is this so just copy and paste it right here and press ctrl a so that's how we deal with the sales invoice through the voucher function in Delhi. Now the next transaction is of October 1st and it says salary paid 3500 and again it's not mentioned here whether it's paid by bank or cash so we will suppose that it is paid by cash so I'll go to Delhi Prime I'll click on vouchers and here since the payment is made, so I'll use the payment option. You can see that this is disabled. That's because we are already in the payment voucher. So let's change the date now. Press F2. And the date is October. So mention October. It says 1st October 2019. Now the payment is made by cash and is made against the salaries. So if we start writing anything, you can see that there are a couple of accounts, but that doesn't include salary. So we will create a new one, alternate C, and write the name salaries. Or you can say wages and salaries. The nature will be indirect expenses. So select indirect expenses from here. Type of ledger not applicable, not applicable because we don't want any rounding press control a and the amount is 3500 so 3500 mentioned here and in the narration i'll just simply copy this and paste it with with control v and now save as control a now if i want to check this transaction and how it is recorded how will we check it display more reports and daybook and now let's set the period as we can see that it's showing only for 1st October although it's showing this entry that we have just recently entered but if we want to see all the entries I'll click on period and let's write January 19 to December 19 let's say so now we can see all the transactions so that's how we record the salaries in tally Okay, the next transaction is of 1st of November and it says rent received 5,500. Now we will consider this also uh, received in cash and since we are receiving that as an income, so we will use the receipt voucher for it. So I'll go to Delhi. I'm under day book right now, so I can add voucher directly from here. I'll click on add voucher and click on receipt. If it is already selected, then it will show uh, like this we are already in receipt voucher so let's select cash we are receiving cash and the receipt date is November so let's mention November here and it is rent received so this is rent income it will be credit but since we are under single entry mode so cash we have already selected the other account must be rent so the benefit of single entry mode is you don't have to worry about debit and credit. Alternate C to create the new account. Rent received. So it will be under indirect incomes. So let's select indirect income. 
not applicable not applicable and let's save it and the amount we have received is 5500 the narration is simply we will copy it from here and paste it here and press control a so that's how we will record the rent in tele now these are all the basic transactions we will go in detail once we have gone through all the basic steps so that you may know the complete voucher basics so now let's move to the next transaction now the next transaction is of january 1st it says uh, let's enter it in december first it says good purchase from safa 4500 and this will be supplier invoice that means this will be booked from purchases. I'll go to Delhi, alternate A and click on purchase. The date of the transaction, let's press F2, December tab. The invoice number is 254. So let's mention 254 here and let's keep this date as well. The same party name is Safa. We don't have Safa already created. So alternate C. Here we will mention the party name and it will come under sundry what creditors exactly maintain bill by bill balances yes of course control a so let's ignore all of these details for now and purchase ledger will be selected purchases now as we have seen before since we do not know what goods are purchased this is just a general purchase so name of item because it is item invoice template I need to change the mode to the accounting invoice template or we can change the mode to as vouchers so credit is Safa and credit amount will be 4500 It will be a new reference because we are just booking invoice now. Uh, this is the invoice number and debit will be purchases. Just ignore this if it asks for the items. So the entry is purchases debit and creditors is credit. Copy and paste the description here and press control A. Now all of these transactions are completed. The reason I mention all the transactions separately in separate videos is because you need to practice the same voucher as the video is complete. So in this way, you will learn properly. See one video, just complete that voucher and then move to the next video and then complete that voucher. So that's how you will gain all the knowledge. So since we have completed all of these transactions, let's move to the next video and see how we can deal with reports in Delhi. Now that we have completed all the transactions, the requested or requirements are uh, record the journal, which we have recorded for all the transactions, create the ledgers, ledgers we have already created, whatever was required. Now the next step is prepare the trial balance. So as we can see that uh, we are supposing that this company was maintaining all the records manually. So after these transactions, I've also mentioned that how the company is recording all of these entries in Excel manually in the form of debit and credit. And then they are compiling the ledgers manually, trial balance, balance sheet and income statement. So all of these reports are mentioned here. So the benefit of the software is as soon as you record all the entries, it will automatically prepare all the reports for you. That is ledgers, trial balance, balance sheet and income statement. So we just need to compare that this trial balance, which is created manually, either it matches with our report or not. So let's check. To extract the trial balance, I'll go back, press escape, escape. And from the gateway of Tele, I'll click on display more reports because some of the reports are mentioned on the top like the balance sheet and profit or loss. 
but if you can't find any particular report you need to check it under the display more reports and here I can see the trial balance click on it and the debit and credit is 505,000 debit and credit which exactly matches our details you need to check individual ledgers uh, you can see the detail of it because it shows the total for the group means it shows fixed asset totals this so whatever fixed asset we have categorized it will show the total of all fixed asset so if you want to check the details you can press alternate F1 so now it will show the details whatever ledgers are under fixed asset like land under current assets we have sundry debtors cash in hand bank accounts so although our debit and credit already matches but if you want to check each individual balance for example cash in hand here we have 102,000 you can highlight this and check here as well so you can reconcile in that way as well if you want to check the individual ledger balances now let's go back and check the balance sheet report here uh, we have the manual balance sheet which shows the balance of 457,000 um, on this side and this side as well so let's check that we are under trial balance right now press escape escape and then for the balance sheet we can go from gateway of Delhi straight into the balance sheet and as you can see that we have 457,000 on each sides now we know that nowadays balance sheet and income statement are not in tabular form but in the statement form so you can change the type of it as well you can click on configure and from here you can select yes to show vertical balance sheet and press ctrl a to accept in this way it will show it vertically if you want to see the details of each ledger press alternate f1 you can see the details of each ledger so that also matches with our manual report now is the time to see the income statement under the income statement we have the profit of 52,500 let's check it now press escape the next report is profit and loss so this shows 56,000 here although the net profit already matches 52,500 so we need to match the net profit right so this also matches perfectly now if you want to switch between the reports there is one other method of doing that in a quick way you can simply click on go to and whatever uh, report you want to check for example I want to switch from profit and loss to balance sheet I don't need to go back I can simply click here to check the balance sheet now if I want to ch check the day book I can click here so this way it can easily move between the reports so that's how we can check all the reports in Teleprime. Now let's enter some future transactions. I'll start from the scratch. I'll click on Tele from the desktop. And once it is open, I'll click on continue in educational mode. Now you will notice that every time I start Tele from the scratch, it opens Zen readers. I need to close this company. I'll click on shut company and click on Zen readers so that I can tell that I need to close this company. Now I will switch to MS Smith and co just double click. Now this company is open. Now we have learned some of the transactions and how to check reports in Tele. Now let's learn how we can alter or edit the ledgers if you want to from the gateway of Tele or main menu of Tele, I'll click on alter and here I have accounting masters which says group and ledger I'll click on ledger now here I can see a lot of list for all the ledgers that we have created now for example if you want to make any changes to any ledger I'll just simply select and double click on this ledger and let's say the name is cash in hand so I'll write cash in hand and press control A. You can also change the nature if you want to and press control A. Now similarly let's learn how we, we can edit the group or group names. 
I'll press escape to go back on this menu and click on group now. And as we have discussed before that uh, there is an old name used in Tele that is sundry creators and sundry debtors. So let's say if I want to change the name of sundry debtors, I'll just double click on it and I'll change it to let's say accounts receivable and press control A. All the other names or settings will remain same. So similarly, select sundry creators and write accounts payable and press control A again to save it. So that's how we can edit groups in Delhi. Now let's learn how to edit the transactions if you have made any mistake to the transaction in Delhi. So let's press escape to go on this main gateway of Delhi screen. And from here, I'll click on display more reports and I'll click on daybook. Under the daybook, you can see only the current uh, transaction. But if you set the period as I've shown you before, let's say January 19 to December 19. So it will show all of these transactions. So let's say if you have made any mistake in date, you can just double click to open up that ledger and you can change the relevant date or let's say if I want to put some more narration, I can do that as well. Let's say triple S and press control A. Let's double check again. Now it's saved. So similarly, you can change the ledgers, you can change the date, whatever you want. But this daybook shows all the vouchers in a single report. Now, for example, if you have a lot of transactions here and you cannot filter it out, the more convenient way to do this is go to account books and here you have the contract register separate, payment register separate, receipt register is separate. So let's say if I want to alter any payment, I will we'll click on payment register. So it will show us all the months and the transaction recorded in that particular month. So we have one single transaction for every month, like uh, not for every month, for these specific months, August, September, and then November. So if I want to edit any transaction, let's double click on August. So it shows one transaction. Let's double click. It will open up this transaction and double click and you will come in the voucher alteration mode where you can make the changes. So either way is fine. Either you can access it from their individual register or you can go to the daybook to edit the vouchers. So that's all about the editing and alteration procedures. Whatever you like to do, whether you want to edit ledgers, groups or transactions, that's how you do it. Now, if you want to print any report like balance sheet, profit loss or any other report, I'll simply click on the report and then click on alternate P to print. It will show that do you want to print the current report or other reports? Click on current. And before printing, you can configure the settings. It will show some additional settings that how you want the report details to appear. Do you want to show the percentages? exclude the amount with zero balances, auto column, and a lot of settings are there. So you can change the settings according to your requirements. And after that, you can click on print preview. So it will show something like this. And if you are comfortable with the report layout, then you can click on print to print the report. So right now it's not connected to a printer. Otherwise it will print directly. So that's how you print the reports in Delhi. Congratulations on completing this course so far. I hope you like the training and if you do, please remember to hit the like button and comment below what you like about the training and what future courses do you want to see. Also share it with your friends so that we can grow this community together. And one more thing, if you want to get a complete course of Tele Prime plus advanced Excel combo training, we have a combo training pack on Udemy. This is our course, which is of 10.5 hours of video so you will get a complete basic to advanced training both of excel and tele prime i'll attach the discount coupon with the link of this video so get that course 
if you want to take your skills to the next level. With this said, this is Saad signing off from today's training. Take care and see you in another training session.